I'm pretty hungry. Ready for um, a taco, you know, since Taco Cabana was just um, a fail, other than the steak dish of a taco yesterday, um, decided oh, it's time to eat and was craving ramen. Um, ramen, curry ramen with uh, melted cheese on top and fried egg the way I like it. And then I have two brisket tacos from Bill Miller, because that was a stop on the way home. I have some leftover uh, chicken strips from Cane's, Raven Cane's. Uh, my water sweet tea from Bill Miller, very little ice. And, you know, just because I went on ahead and got a slice of apple pie since... You know, I opted not to get the cookie yesterday. Um, I don't know. So I woke up this morning and I was ready and determined to go to my salvage grocery store. Pick up some things for the household, pick up some things for, you know, other family members. And left early, got there, you know, ahead of schedule, found a good parking spot. Um, everything was going right. Had all my bags, you know, in the back, right around the middle. Had all my bags, you know, in the back, ready to rock and roll. And, um, lady comes up to the window, one of the cashiers, and she says, well, something happened, and then she says, we're not opening until 11, which wouldn't have been, been a big deal. But it takes me about a 30 minute drive from where I live to the salvage grocery store. Um, and obviously, time to shop and then a 30 minute drive back. So I opted out because I have other things to do today. Um, so postponed. I'll have to do that next weekend. Um, I think we have enough stuff to last us, you know, until um, I'm able to get over there again. Right off the bat, I did not put enough juice in the noodles. I don't like a lot of juice at all. I really didn't put a lot of juice. Mm. It's the yellow curry, yellow curry noodles. Really good flavor. They sound like HB. Kind of once instead of like the regular, you know, top ramen. I really liked it. So now when I buy them, everyone knows those are, you know, mama's special ramen, hands off. Normally I like to put some sesame seeds on, fresh out of sesame seeds. Um, I'm the only one that gets mine with sunflower seeds, but. It's pretty tasty, or even like um, some everything bagel seasoning. That's pretty good too. Instead, since there are a few things that I do need to pick up for the week, I may just make like a quick Dollar Tree run. Um, Got two packets of um, instant biscuits last week from there. Never tried them before. I think they were cheddar or something or other. Um, they were yummy. So good, those are good. And who knows what else I'm in this Dollar Tree. Um, I have room for a few freezer items. Not a whole lot. Say to make it a deep freezer. Oh, just a mini one. Um, so that when I am able to get to salvage grocery when I need to, if they have you know good deals on meat, then I'm able to stock up.
Hands turned into. Mm -hmm. It's a fabulous, fabulous, glorious candy sauce. That everyone gets upset about, you know, it's missing because you grow there. And yes, the chicken strips are good, but, you know, the cane sauce goes with it. And it's pretty delicious. I know, I've been through the drive through once last year. And, you know, ordered the 50 finger pack for the family. A tailgate pack, side of fries, and uh, got home, no cane sauce. Uh, that was a bummer. Did not go back, did not call, didn't complain, but cane strips with um, ketchup was not my thing. Mm. They're just yummy. I prefer cane strips over church's strips or Chicken Express strips. But Tim's is very pricey. It was always pricey, and now it's sky high pricey. I don't care what anybody says. Um, so it's definitely you know a once in a blue moon. You know when you're bougie enough to say something and want to treat yourself. That's you know when you can go and get canes. Um. But everybody, you know, no deal. Um, they're just yeah, they're just good. They're crunchy, they're tender, they're everything. Love the seasoning, love the batter. Mm. Love the sauce. Do I think they're worth the price that they go for? No. Um, but the chicken is equally good. Chicken Express is good. Like I said. Churches, you know, is a second. But even churches, everyone's prices are going up. Which is why I am happy that I cook a lot at home. I think the majority of the time, we enjoy the food more when it's cooked at home. More flavor, a bigger amount. Everyone seems to be satisfied. That's what we Kind of nice time being in a car fit on this. But it's easier filming in the car because you just put your phone up, click, and it's stationary. This I had to juggle, and I'm not sure that I'm happy with it. It's popped up. I got tired of screwing with it. It is what it is because I'm hungry and I was ready to eat. It's, the phone's already falling in.
all the chopsticks, right? Sometimes I can't. These are the new ones. I got them because I thought they were going to be easier because they're longer and they kind of are, but yeah, they're still chopsticks and, you know. This bowl was a five below bowl. Yeah, it was a four. I came with a little, you know, soup broth spoon and the smallest, shortest set of chopsticks. But I've been making do with them until I find these puppies. Mm. Egg and cheese and your ramen. It's just fabulous. When the cheese is melty and creamy and gooey, your egg, when it's fried just right. Mm. I was watching a couple of my favorite mukbangers last night. Everyone has their different style, everyone has their different technique. <laughs> you know, I'm just gonna make me. I'm not a seafood person, and um, my two favorites that I was watching last night, they were all into that seafood. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm brave enough to try any of that. Um, but the mushrooms, oh, oh my goodness, the mushrooms, you know, um, all different kinds, styles, shapes, sizes, mushrooms, and all looking delicious, you know, and they slather it, you know, with um, the spicy bulldog sauce, fucking goji jang, you know, just <clears throat> makes you want to eat the screen. Just tasty, just looks so tasty. I did get the goji jang one time. Um, Spent the money, you know, to get myself a little tub. Um, tried it on a few things, and it was okay. Um, I probably put too much, um, but it was a waste for me to buy a whole tub of it. That's all I have to say. Small tub, but still a waste for me to buy a tub of it. But it's most of Let's get taco in the middle. I gotta rearrange the meat because, you know, um, sometimes when you get it, it's like slapped all to one side and you just get this big old fat bite. But I like to uh, even mine out, just as any person would, I imagine. Um, slap a little hot sauce on it. Gotta give it a little something. Texas is all about brisket. Um, a, you know, a real home done one on the smoker. Mm -hmm. It's fantastic, you know, but don't know anybody with a smoker. Don't know anybody, anybody with the money to buy a whole brisket. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, this will do for now. Mm -hmm. Be super, super good. I feel like I'm... So I'm gonna put the bowl of um, homemade pinto beans with it. Just the right amount of jalapenos, the right amount of tomato and onion. <laughs> Most of the people that I know like um, borracho beans. They're okay. I'd still rather have um, a nice big homemade pot of pinto beans or even black beans.
like a bunch of taco. Fold the taco and duck it directly into the sauce cup. Here you go, thank you. Alright, half a pie slice from the line. The basic slice it out slice. And of course, you know, a pair of hot and ready apple pies from McDonald's is just as good. Um, homemade apple pie is fabulous too, but I mean, who doesn't love apple pie? Apple pie is apple pie. Um, it's just delicious. That is good. <laughs> Like, um, you know, a ready made apple pie from um, a grocery store or a Walmart or something. Um, I automatically know it's going to be divided. My son's going to get half, I'm going to get the other half. Daughter doesn't eat apple pie. Um, now, I went to HEB. A couple months back, I think. It was before, well, okay, more than a couple months. It was before Thanksgiving. And um, we were jonesing. We were jonesing for some apple pie. Um, went in there. Both of us were excited as hell. And damned if now you can't even get half of a pie at HEB for nine bucks. Nine dollars for half of a pie. Are you out of your mind? No. No. So we left disappointed. We didn't get it. We weren't going to pay $9 for half of a pie. Um, so when I got home, you know, our second favorite pie, I had stuff to make a pumpkin pie. So that's what we did. Oh, my pie. Um, never made an apple pie, though. Should probably look up the recipe. I could do without all the crust. There's a, a heck of a lot of crust on this pie. I'm getting full. That is good. We stopped by McDonald's, I want to say, during the holiday time, because someone wanted something. And um, instead of, or in addition to McDonald's apple pie, they had um, 
I think it was strawberries and cream. And anyway, we were going to order, you know, two apple pies. It, it was. We were going to order two apple pies. And uh, they were out of apple pies. So I wanted a pie. So I went ahead and got the strawberries and cream. I didn't think I was going to be impressed, but that was amazing. It was just like a little freaking mini strawberry cheesecake. Let me tell you, it was good stuff. Um, I should have got, I, I should have got two more, you know. But I guess it was a special thing, seasonal thing, whatever you call it. And now, someone told me they have something called a holiday pie. They sent me a picture of it. It's you know, I wasn't, it didn't look appealing to me. It looked like it had sprinkles. I'm not a sprinkle fan. Hmm. Alright. Last bite. Everything's absolutely delicious. I'm satisfied and fulfilled. And I'm ready to continue on the day.